Today I'm on a mission, the interior test. I want to find out what people think about the latest Isuzu D-MAX X Terrain's interior. So I've gathered five of my closest friends and family to go on a ride with me to find out what they think about the car. Now to be fair, I've decided to play a game like Taboo. It's actually a word-guessing game that requires another person to guess a very specific word without using a list of forbidden words. However, you can find creative ways around it to get them to guess it. So when Eugene first asked me to check out the interior of this car, I was like, it's probably just another pickup truck. But once I got into it, I understand what he's trying to say because the interior feels really premium. It doesn't feel like a pickup truck because of the dual tone leather uh, dashboard and also all these beautiful uh, chrome side trimmings and the seats. The seats is very well padded, but that's just me. What about the rest? Now before we begin, these are the three special words I hope they will say without using any of the following suggestive words. Premium, comfortable and different. Hi there. Hi. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, ni hama. Hi, hen hao, hen hao. Sudah makan? Sudah, sudah. Thank you for wow. agreeing to go on a short ride with me. <laughs> yeah, anticipating for this. What, what do you have for me today? Wow. <laughs> today, uh. I'll be your chauffeur. Oh, okay. Mm, anywhere you want to go, I'll, I'll drive you. Ignore all these cameras and all these gadgets in front of you. Just <laughs> pretend that nothing is there. Oh, so it happened I'm also flexible today, so I was like... Ah, that's great. Fated, bro. Fated. Yeah. My mission today is just to drive you around, mm -hmm. let you enjoy the car, you just sit back, relax, and you know, just feel comfortable. <sighs> okay. okay. Well, have you have you sat on a D-Max before? No, this is the first time. This is actually. the first time, huh? Mm. The old old D-Max, the old, old Isuzu, yes, but not this one. This is the third generation, if I'm not wrong. That what car did you drive today? You, you drove a truck. Yeah. Stick. Damn! Damn! Truck. Yeah. Stick. Yeah. Hear that, guys? I've driven so many pickup trucks. I work for construction, so right? Correct. I always stay in the truck, so I, important thing is to have this cup holder. cup holder in front of the aircon van. Then you can keep your drinks cool. Such a brilliant idea, right? Yeah. Your seat, okay? You yeah. can adjust it a bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all good. Because you, you're a tall guy, man. You're a six footer, right? Yes. Yeah, what is your first impression when you got into the car? Yeah, nice dashboard. Huh? Lay out nice, love the aircon vents. What phone are you using? Apple? I'm using app. Uh, Android, Apple. 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 Apple phone. This car has uh, Apple CarPlay. Do you want to try to switch okay. it on? Okay. Play some of your music for oh, us. Oh, that'd be cool, man. Let's see how it sounds like. Yeah. Very warm. Your Oi. aircon is at 32 Celsius. Oh, I put it down. Why it's so hot? Because it's so cold. I feel so comfortable oh, with this temperature. Oh, yours is separate temperature. Yes, I can control my own. No wonder. This yeah. is actually a dual zone uh, climate control, so that means you can control your own temperature, I can control mine. Nice. I think this car has better safety feature than your BMW, unfortunately. Uh, huh? Yeah. But this is a pickup truck. Oh. Yeah, I know, right? Oh. It has, uh, let me think, forward collision warning with uh, autonomous braking. Your car got. Uh. <laughs> Don't have one. <laughs> <more. laughs> I like the growth, man. Thanks, thanks. Pedal misapplication mitigation. So I know it sounds like a really big word, right? Mm. But what it actually does is if you accidentally step on the accelerator instead of the brake, mm. the engine will automatically reduce the throttle. Wow. Oh. Yeah, your car got. Uh. Oh, I don't have one. <laughs> actually, this is one of the first time I've heard it. <laughs> on a pickup truck, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you mentioned the word not so typical. Yeah. Okay, what's another word for not so typical? It's unconventional. It looks like why? What's so funny? <laughs> Not so typical, unconventional. So you know, compared to your 16-year-old truck and this truck, you know, what's the it has progress? It's not so old school. It's not so old school. I'm looking for one word, you know, between your 16-year-old car and this car. Transformation. <laughs> Is 
So just now you mentioned the word elegant. Is there another word that you can describe? Your first impression? Of course lah, premium. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. premium? If like you blindfold me, you kidnap me inside and then you open up my eyes, right? Yep. It looks like a premium kind of MPV SUV. Your no. Sorento's interior and this. Uh, the Sorento, I think has a lot more padding. In not not only not only on seat, okay. but maybe the door. It's acceptable. This time it's acceptable. Okay, that's quality, good. Quality, this quality. This okay, what's another this word for like quality? A... Touch and feel. Look at the dashboard, yeah. bro. It's a, it's actually, a when you, when you knock it, it's, 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 a pre, it's a premium. Uh, I would say premium. You usually get that in a more... Yeah, I understand. A more what? Uh, premium? <laughs> yes, I agree. So, yeah. more premium car. This car pre not premium enough for you, huh? Yeah. I'm, I'm not saying that. <laughs> okay, between your 16-year-old car and this car, is it the same? No lah, of course not. Why? Comfort. Yeah. Luxury, okay, 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 okay. Premium, premium, luxury. <laughs> You just close your eyes and imagine that you are sitting in your slightly older pickup truck, mm -hmm. right? And now you open your eyes and look around and touch and feel the interior of this car. What's that word for it? Between what? that and this? This and that, no? <laughs> <laughs> Drive uh, your brother in law's pickup truck as well, right? Yes. Mm. So, can you tell me, like, you know, any difference between. Oh, wait, right, not say the word difference. Those pickup trucks that you've driven before, mm -hmm. it's a tortoise. <laughs> okay. Say, let's say, let's say. Okay. okay. This pickup truck, yeah. it's a turtle. Okay. 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 Can I say that a tortoise is a turtle? Hmm. Ah. <laughs> very interesting. I'm looking for a very vague word. Just take it at face value. No. What's that word? No. Why, why is it no? Because there they, they are clear differences between a tortoise and a tortoise. I mean, the, a turtle and a tortoise. Yes, absolutely. I agree <laughs> with you. Who came up with such a stupid example? <laughs> no, what's the difference? Oh, oh. The difference is the word I'm looking for, bro. Oh, okay. You want to adjust your seat, bro? Feels like yeah. you are quite upright. Wow, can go all the way around. Can, bro. You work very hard, lah. You need to take a rest. Oh. We're gonna go through this bum, ah, bro, bro, ah, bro. Okay. Hey, hey, nice. Very good, oh. What, what is very good? I mean, Give me a word for okay. It. Normally, right, in in a pickup truck, yep. I will be like like that. Bonk. But this one, I don't know whether it's the suspension or okay. the seat. Okay. I actually feel like very flat and comfortable. This uh, seat actually has been improved. Uh, mm -hmm. Isuzu mentioned that they have added like some layers to the seat at the bottom to help with the vibration. Since you mentioned about the this little chair, right? Right. So how do you feel so far? Like you know, sitting on it. It's actually yeah, very very comfortable. I actually like the side support, you know. Actually, it's very important because sometimes when I go off road, right, I'll be swinging from left to right, right. and from my pickup truck, I'll be like, ah, I wish I had bucket seats. I heard that, you know, you're trying to start a family. Yes. Right? Yes. Will you consider a car like this? Uh, initially, we, mm. me and my wife, we were thinking mm. something along... Ah, I see CRV. <laughs> yeah. So we were thinking of something like that. Yep. You know. A very safe option, bro. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, it's a Japanese car and things like that. So yep. we were wondering that would be a good safe. This is also a Japanese car. Right. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> it will drive you to the sure, nearest sure. showroom. Sure. Yeah. I didn't pay my sisters to say all this. Trade in, ah. Uh. Trade in. Trade in, ah. Uh. Trade in, uh. Okay, we're done. I can call it a day. Thank you very much, Aaron. I'm gonna send you back now. Okay, oh, hey, I want to test drive. If I don't look what's happening at the back, I think I would consider this as an SUV. Yes, yes, if I yes. don't know what's happening at the back. You uh, made my job so easy, bro. <laughs> I can switch off the camera now. So I just dropped off our last guest. All things considered, I think I did pretty well. What do you guys think? You got it, dude. Now, if you're curious about how the interior of this car looks like or how it even drives, go to your nearest showroom and perhaps let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, you know, stay tuned for more videos like this. Take care of yourself. Bye.